This very short video explains the sense of smell. And this happens, of course, through your nose. And in your nose, there is what we call the olfactory maculus membrane, which is above each part of the nasal concha. Uh, this is, uh, with humans, about two times five square centimeters large. And this is in difference, for example, to other animals. For example, dogs have two times 25 square centimeters. So they are much more sensitive through their nose because they have a larger membrane there. In this membrane, there are approximately 350 to 400 different receptors, which respond to different classes of flavor. And these receptors then forward nerve impulses through the so-called bulbus olfactorius, olfactory bulb, which you see in the picture, to the cortical centers. And in these cortical centers, they are also very closely linked to emotions. So with the help of the smell sense, we can provoke, we can evoke emotions, which is not yet used a lot in technological systems, but this is something which we can expect in the near future. The olfactory sense is fully developed at birth, uh, but the judgment of whether we like something or dislike something, the so-called hedonic judgment, is uh, uh, learned using during the first five to ten years from birth. We can differentiate a large number of approximately one trillion of different smells, but it's very difficult to express them verbally. So there are far fewer smells we can report on verbally. Uh, the sense is very um, accurate, very sensitive. Uh, from approximately 10 to 100 billion molecules are necessary in order to activate this sense. And the number of molecules which are necessary is, of course, class-specific. There have been approaches to classify smells, and these are, as mentioned, language-specific, because we need to describe the sense, uh, the smells. And uh, here you see a classification for the German language into basic smells, like blumig, fruchtig, grün, würzig, and the corresponding notes of the smell. Uh, and what you see here, for example, are different kinds of flowers or fruits or something alike. But as mentioned, these classifications are very much language-specific.